Hello everyone, Mr. Montgomery again, and today is going to be our last day of Unit 7. Okay, maybe not the last, because we will have a, a whole review day going on. Uh, but this is going to be our last day of working with something that might be kind of new. Okay, so today we are going to be really, really focusing on story problems, which I know some friends might be scared of, but I'm going to show you why they're not scary at all. Trust me, they're not scary at all. And uh, actually, they can be kind of fun. Because when I do story problems, I pretend to be a detective. I get a detective hat. I get a magnifying glass. So why don't you go get your detective hat and your magnifying glass if you have one. If you don't, a detective hat is fine. And it could be any kind of hat that you might have. So go ahead and get that ready. And we're going to uh, get things set up here. Before we get started, make sure you're on this correct page. Page 470. Seven. This is the page we're working on in our Robot and Turtle book. If you don't have this book open to this page, pause the video, get it open to page 477, and then let's get rolling. Okay, now before we even do anything, there's something very important I want to talk to you guys about, and it's about special words. I'm going to make a quick list about special words that we might see in any story problem. And they all mean something different. We have a whole list of words that are going to tell us to add. And a whole bunch of words that are going to tell us to subtract. Okay, so some of the special words that might tell us to add are... Let's see, one word is going... Or uh, one phrase, really, is going to be all together... That's a big one. Then we have in all. We see this one a lot whenever we when we have to add. So all together in all. And then maybe even something uh, like gives me. Like if the story is about you and then your mom gives you more, right? Oh, you know, and that's another one. Even the word more can be another special word. Okay. These Now, if we see these in a the story problem, they might mean to add. Okay, so that's going to help us out. For subtract, we, can, we have uh, words like gives away. That's a big one. Um, ooh, have left. Like, how many do you have left? That's another big one. And another one is less than. Like, maybe the story probably might say he has five cubes less than Sarah, right? So you would just kind of take away. You would subtract. So these are some special phrases we might see. So we can keep an eye out for those. And then if we come run across any new ones, guess what? We'll add them to our list. That's all. And uh, these other words over here might mean to add. So we'll just be, have to be very careful with what words we see at the very end. Okay, that's all. So let's read this problem that we have on page 477. And see if we can pick out any special uh, words that might tell us whether we're going to be adding or subtracting. And also, if you see any special numbers, make sure you circle them so we know what we're working with. So Val picks 40 strawberries. Well, 40 seems pretty important. I'm going to circle it. She shares 20 of them with her brother. That's also important. I'm going to circle that number 20. How many strawberries did Val keep for herself? Hmm. So let's try to set this up. Let's see if we see any special words we could uh, work with. So she shares. You know what? Shares. That sounds kind of similar to uh, gives away, which is right here up top. Yeah, you know what? To me, they are very similar. So if you're sharing, you're giving away, aren't you? 
So that is a little clue that we will definitely be subtracting. So how would we set up these numbers to subtract? Where would this number 40 go? Would it be the first big number? Or would we put it second because it's the smaller number? It would go first because our two numbers are 40 and 20. And the, whenever we subtract, we have to put our biggest number first. So it's going to be 40 minus 20 because that was the other number we found. So we have 40 minus 20. And of course, if you know how to solve this, maybe use a mental math way, awesome. Uh, some of us might need to have a little drawing. You could make four tens for 40, right? And you can count by tens if you need to. 10, 20, 30, and 40. And then we can take away, how many would we take away? You would just take away two, and because we're going to take away 20, so that's two tens. Or you can count by tens if you need to, until you reach the number 20. So cross one out, that's 10, 20, and I stop. How many do I have left? I have two tens, so I put two in tens place. I have no ones left, so I put a zero, I had 20 is our answer. And I'm going to give you guys a little, little trick here. Um, just keep in mind, the whole unit we've been working on has been subtracting. So what do you think most of our story problems are going to be about? They're probably going to be about subtracting. But make sure that you check your work by looking for these very important words like shares or gives away or how many do you have left or less or less than very important words that we're going to see throughout our story problems. And these words never go away. You'll see them as you keep going through older and older grades. But let's go ahead and turn the page and try some other ones on our own. Alright everyone, we are now on the next page, page 478. Okay, and I erased uh, what they had for number one. I am not a fan of what they're trying to do up here with this picture. We're just going to ignore all that stuff. Okay, because we already have our methods, whether you like to use the 100 chart or drawing a picture or do mental math. Stick with what works for you. Ign ignore, please ignore whatever picture this is they're trying to do up here. It is more work than it's worth. Trust me on that, guys. So let's go ahead into... Let's just kind of breeze over number one and see if we can pick out all the important details and see how they got their answer. So remember, every time we see a number or hear a number, we got to make sure we stop and circle it because it's going to be very important. A store has 60 muffins. Well, we hear 60, so we're going to go ahead and circle that. That's super important. It sells 30 muffins. You know what? For some reason, I'm thinking the word sells might be special. When you sell something, does someone take it from you? Like, don't, don't they buy it? Yeah, so then you have less. So, you know, what? I'm going to underline this word. Because if we have less in the end, I think that means we're going to be subtracting. And then the last sentence says, how many muffins does the store have now? Well, if we want to write a number sense for this, okay? So we have 60 and 30, and they're selling some of them. So they're kind of getting rid of them. They're going to have less. So that, that's telling us right away it's going to be subtracting. So which number is going to go first in our subtraction sentence? Is it going to be the big 60 or the tiny 30? It's going to be that big 60 because we always have to put the big number first. So we put 60 minus what? minus 30 because that's the only other number we have and if you know how to do your mental math you can of course always do that but if you need a picture let's draw a picture real quick so first we need to make our total our big total number right so 60 let's draw it in tens 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 
Okay, first part is done. Next, we need to take away 30. Well, when we take away, we're just going to cross it out. So let's count by tens all the way up to 30 as we cross them out. 10, 20, 30. Okay, and now we have these left. If we count these, we have one, two, three tens, and we know that three tens makes 30. So after we sell 30 muffins, we're going to have 30 muffins left. All right, so for number two, I want you to try this one on your own. I'm going to read it to you, but make sure that you circle anything special that you hear. So as soon as you hear something special, circle it right away in the story problem. Andy has 84 baseball cards. He has 10 more cards than Tia has. How many cards does Tia have? So we know that Andy had how much he has. We know that it's more than Tia. We need to find out how many cards Tia has. I'll give you guys a few moments to solve this one. All right, if you are still working, please do me a favor, pause the video, take your time. If you're all done, let's uh, let's go through this and check your work, okay? Make sure you're checking your answer, and then if you, maybe if you got the incorrect answer, make sure you check your work. See, see where you went wrong, okay? Because uh, sometimes we just make simple mistakes, and then later on you go, oh, geez. And then if you're, if you're like me, I, I always kind of like lightly tap myself in the forehead, I'm like, oh, gosh. That's what I did. So let's read this again real quick. Andy has 84 baseball cards. Go circle 84. He has 10 more than Tia has. How many cards does Tia have? So right now they're telling us that Andy has more. Okay. And 84 is a huge number. So we're going to start off our, you know, let me write it down here. Our number sentence starts off with the number 84. And we know that Tia has less. So we can actually just take away 10 to find out how much she has. And if you know your mental math, of course you could do that. Or you could think, what is 10 less than 84 with a 100 chart? But if you need a picture, let's do it real quick. So we're going to draw number 84 first because that's our big total. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. We have eight tens because there's an eight in the tens place. And I need four ones. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and then if we're taking away ten, how many do we cross out? Just one. Take away one whole ten. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. And we still have our four ones. So that our answer is 74. That's how many cards Tia has. That's it. All right. I, I feel like they didn't give us enough practice problems, though. So let's do one more practice problem before we do our independent work. All right. So make sure you're on page 479. And we're just going to do number three together. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you guys try this one on your own again. And then we can kind of go over it. So we have another little practice problem before I have you do some on your own. So for number three, we're going to do it the same way that we did the last one. I'm going to read it to you. As I read it, when you hear super special things, like maybe a special number or a special word, make sure you circle it. Okay. So for number three, it says, Viola has 80 stickers. Dean 
has 60 stickers. How many more stickers does Viola have than Dean? Ooh, I heard a pretty special word towards the end there. Okay, guys, I'll give you a few moments. I hope that you are paying attention and circling the important numbers or words. Let's go ahead, try this one on your own. Okay, guys, if you're still working, pause the video, take your time. If you're all done, let's check your work. Okay, so let's reread this real quick. Viola has 80 stickers. 80 is very special. Dean has 60 stickers. That is also special. How many more stickers does Viola have than Dean? Dean, or I'm sorry, <laughs> than is a very special word. Then means you're comparing two numbers and they want to know the difference. And the difference means we're subtracting. So if we're subtracting, okay, let's kind of set up with some blank spaces here. Which number would go first in our subtraction sentence? The 80 or the 60? It's going to be the 80. Why? Why do we need to put 80 first? because it's the bigger of the two numbers. When we subtract, you need to put the biggest number first. You cannot put 60 here and try to take 80 away from it. There's just not enough. So our number sentence is 80 minus 60. And again, if you need a picture, let's check it real quick with a drawing. So for 80, we're going to draw a quick picture. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80. Okay, so we have our big total that we drew. Next, we're going to take away 60. So let's go ahead and do that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. And now we have our answer, right? We have two tens left. How much is two tens? Well, we put a 2 in the 10th place, and do we have any 1s left over? No, there's no 1s. So we put a 0. Our answer is 20. All right? Okay, so if you are not in my classroom, please let your teacher know that the video is done, because I'm going to assign my class to their independent work. Okay, so friends in my classroom, let's go over to our Google Classroom and see what assignments there are today. All right, for the friends in my room, uh, let's make sure we know how to get to our independent work. Click on the man in the blue box up top, then click on classwork, and then you will have a little assignment called 11-7 Quick Check, and there's just going to be some story problems for you to try out, okay? Now, if you get through these pretty fast and you want to try something a little bit more challenging, maybe, uh, I am totally cool with you guys going on page 4. 480 and trying this special challenge problem now if the number six and seven are too challenging because they want you to actually write a sentence to explain after you read the word problem it says what problem do you need to solve you, uh, you can try to write just a very short sentence you don't have to write too much but if that's too tricky you can just kind of skip that and just go on to answering the number eight part this Number eight goes with the story problem. Uh, and then number seven says, what tool or tools can you use? So there's a whole bunch of different ways that we could solve this. You can, you know, use a picture or a hundred chart, whatever you always use. That's all they're asking. So if you want to try to uh, solve this special challenge problem, you can. But if the first two parts are too tricky and you just want to go to number eight, the number eight portion where you're setting it up and solving it. That's fine. Go ahead and give that a whirl. All right. Um, but besides that, I hope that you guys are doing well with this. I hope that you're enjoying it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.